ready. Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. So let us talk about uh, Nick Cannon. So he's back trending on social media. So if you guys don't know, now they're trying to switch it up. So this flyer went viral all over social media where they're trying to have, I, when I seen the flyer, I'm like, what year is this, 2010? If you guys remember back in like the early, you know, 2010s of the internet, they would have all these light skin, dark skin parties, like flyers and stuff. They'd be like, oh, there's a light skin versus dark skin party in Charlotte. Light skin versus dark skin party in Atlanta. And so these flyers would go viral and they'd be all these little think pieces on social media about them. So, but we haven't seen this because I thought, you know, yes, there's still colorism, trust me. Um, but I thought we'd move beyond the whole light skin versus dark skin thing, right? Oh no, not on social media. Dusty Nick Cannon and Zeus Network, they decided, they decided to throw a light skin um, versus dark skin party. So let me share my tab. And they are currently getting drug all over social media here. So, oh, me and my baby. I still can't believe he's 18 now. All right, so this was the flyer. And it says uh, bad versus wild, dark skin versus light skin. And you see all the chicks here. And some of the light skin girls, they made them look even lighter. I think that Stunner Girl, and Stunner Girl is light skin, but she's not that pale. Um, then you have all the dark skin chicks over here and Suki Anna is performing. She's the same girl who's always crying about colorism, but engaging in this fuckery. Um, so Zeus Network says tomorrow we got the baddies versus wild Las Vegas is going down. So they were promoting this. Um, Suki Anna got her dark skin team going up against Mr. or MX, whoever child and her light skin team. And of course, Suki the Goat will be hitting the stage. So this is what they posted. Once they got backlash, they tried to redo the flyer and take off the light skin versus dark skin and just make it the bad girls versus the wild girls or whatever. And so um, that was them trying to front and stump. But they changed the flyer. So the new flyer that's going around social media was after they caught backlash. So we're going to hear this young man. He talks about it, too. Nick Cannon and Zeus Network are under fire for promoting a bad versus wild show that is colorist thing. That's right. They are hosting a show that is labeled dark skin versus light skin. But catch this. Some of the models even on the flyer have been photoshopped to look brighter than they actually are. Now, again, Zeus Network originally posted this flyer and then again, immediately or well, almost close to immediately deleted it after receiving so much backlash on their Instagram. And then, of course, the internet was like, ah, 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 you got to be faster than that. And then also went after Nick Cannon for even stamping something like this. Now, of course, this is the same. OK, so y'all just heard what he had to say. So I want to take y'all back to my Instagram page because there's a young lady who left a comment and I had pinned her comment. And I want to share with y'all what she said. She says, not surprised. I went to Wildin' Out almost two years ago and Hitman Holla was really colorist towards me. He let all the light-skinned chicks take pictures with him. And when I asked him, he told me no. I even got pushed to the ground by security when I was trying to say hi to Conceited. He was saying hi to my friend who was light-skinned, but as so, as I wanted to say hi, I got pushed, but as soon as I wanted to say hi, I got pushed to the ground. Only one cast member was nice enough to take a picture with me. He was the big guy who always eats food on the show. He was really humble and nice. That show is racist, and so are the cast members. I'm not surprised that Nick Cannon and Zeus did this. Did anyone notice that Zeus tends to give people of lighter skin spinoff shows, baddies, Natalie Nunn, Jocelyn's Cabaret, B. Simone, Black China, the list goes on. So I am really sorry that she experienced that. Like nobody should get hands put on them simply for asking. 
you know, to take a picture. But um, I don't watch Wild and Out, and I've always felt like it was more of a colorist show because even a lot of the Wild and Out girls, they're all racially ambiguous. Um, you know, light, bright, damn near white. And again, like I always say. I don't like the whole colorist thing because nobody can help how they're born, right? Like I can't help how dark I am, just like a light skinned chick or a mixed chick can't help how light they are. People are just born what they're born, you know what I'm saying? My boys are light skinned. Like nobody can help their complexion. But what I don't like is when people try to act like their skin tone is better than somebody else's, you know what I'm saying? And social media like really really pushes that and that's the part that's like really frustrating i don't even understand why like why suki of all people who's always crying about colorism and how you know she gets mistreated in the industry because she's dark skin why she would even play into this i just think it's, it's just so divisive like we have enough things that divide us as a people and especially as women you know what i'm saying why even go into the whole skin color thing you know, especially being that it's just, it's such a touchy subject. And people feel like, oh, colorism is not real. Dark skinned girls are always crying about some shit. But no, it really is. And it still goes on to this day. You know, that's why a lot of times I don't go clubbing in Miami because I have been disrespected in Miami. You know, when I've gone out with my homegirls, you know, we're all looking cute, just like the Latinas and the light skinned chicks. You know what I'm saying? We're dressed up, looking good. And they'll literally like, not make eye contact with you and try and look above your head and then like bring in all the spices so like they're very colorist in miami so and my thing is y'all know me bitch i will not beg you to take a hot dime of my money okay i'm not gonna beg you to take my fucking coins bitch oh you want to act funny you want to act like we're not here and we're not looking bad too next so there's certain cities I won't even hit their clubs because they're so colorist, you know what I'm saying? That if you're not mixed or racially ambiguous, they don't want you there. And it's really unfortunate, you know, but it, it just is what it is. But I'm not gonna let that make me feel bad about myself or make me feel like, you know, I'm unworthy. Bitch, I'll just throw my own party, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, never let nobody make you feel like you had to beg them for like a space at the table. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna create my own table, you know? And I feel like, like I said before, that's probably why it's taken my numbers a while to grow and why I don't get pushed through the algorithm. Cause y'all know the algorithm hates anything brown. And we push that, we, 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 we peep that um, with the girl Pinky, the Pinky doll or whatever, the, you know, the one that, um, ice cream so good, ice cream so good. Her, who ended up being a sex worker. But remember, she had to make her skin look really, really light on camera. That people accused her of light skin fishing. But I understood why she did that because if she was just brown skin doing the same thing, she wouldn't have been pushed through no algorithm on TikTok. So she made herself look super, super light. You know what I mean? And ice cream so good. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? And she went viral off of that. And it just shows you, like, really that the algorithm is, is colorist. People are colorist. Look how many people were mad when they found out that she wasn't a light bright. They were, like, really, really upset. Like, oh, she catfished us and this, this, and that. Good. I'm glad she did. Because it just goes to show you that they really don't push you through the algorithm if you're not a certain complexion, if you don't have certain features and things like that. But it's all good. I'm going I'm to I'm sit here on my little, you know, struggle channel with my brown skin, okay? And, you know, just, just grind even harder. It is what it is. I'm not about to bleach my skin and, you know, change my ISO to get pushed through the algorithm. I don't give a fuck. People going to fuck with me regardless. You know what I'm saying? If you like brown skin girls and, and you rock with us, cool. If you don't, move around. There's plenty of other girls doing commentary. You ain't got to watch my black ass, okay? But I just, I don't know. I just think it sucks, though, that, that we're still doing things like that. And especially with Nick Cannon, I feel bad because he does have a brown skin daughter. Because he did knock up that dark skin girl who, to me, is a fucking idiot. Uh, beautiful girl. Had no business even jumping into this circus. So... Are you, are you gonna tell your light skin kids to what? Is it gonna be a versus in your household? All your, you know, your, your 15 light skin kids versus this one dark skin child? I just, I don't like that. It's not cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just, I hate colorist people. It's not a good look. 
And how's your daughter supposed to feel when all her siblings are light brights and she's the only brown one and then you're sitting here promoting some nonsense? And the thing that's so funny is that a lot of the guys who perpetuate the, you know, the divisiveness between women, a lot of them are nothing to write home about. You sitting here not trying to make eye contact with dark skinned girls in line and you look like if you didn't work there, they wouldn't let your ass in the club. Let's keep that real. So some of these guys who are so colorist are nothing to write home about their damn selves. Short, overweight, don't got nothing else going for themselves. So they want to sit here and be divisive and have women, you know, beefing with each other. I just, I don't know. I just think it's disgusting. And it's really sad because I like Lemire. I, I've met him, the owner of Zeus Network. But I just feel like, damn, dude, like you were, your daddy's a pastor. This was initially a Christian network. Okay, fine. You know, you want to promote ratchet shit because more people started watching Zeus once it became ratchet. When it was a Christian network, people weren't tuning in. Okay, I get that. But like, why just keep, you know, taking it to the next level? Like, why why just keep being trashier and trashier? You know what I'm saying? Like, we don't need the whole colorism thing. And especially like even, I remember people were accusing Natalie Nunn of being colorist. Cause they said she was saying stuff on Bad Girls Club back in the day. You know, I'm not, I forget, cause this was years ago. So it's like, you've already been able to reinvent yourself with baddies. Why are y'all playing into this whole light skin versus dark skin thing? So I'm not here for it. I don't like it. I think it's trash. I, you know, it's, it's not cool. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely tea TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely tea TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.